The year is 2022, and at the moment there currently exist 8 races in Final Fantasy XIV. All of the races in XIV are lovely and unique in their own special way. Whether you're a small potato Lollafell or a long neck giraffe like Elizin, there's something to like about each of the races in XIV, and they always cater towards everyone's personal taste in some way. But you have to be absolutely careful with your opinions of each race that you might have, or else it will cause a world war within the XIV fanbase. Something so dangerous that it's almost equated to stating your hot anime takes. <clears throat> I think part four of JoJo is the best part of all the JoJo's. Oh, um, that wasn't a spicy enough hot take. Okay, um, I think Demon Slayer is mid and Spy X Family is much better. Oh, calm down. It's a, it's a joke. It's a joke. Today, I will tell you my opinion of each race in 14. And of course, my opinion is the best because I'm a YouTuber and we all know how right YouTubers are, right guys? <laughs> My opinion is as helpful as the racial bonus in 14. This is the world that we would live in if everyone had the same opinions about each race. But, uh, we live in our world, so of course everyone has different opinions about each one, so we actually live kind of basically, uh, like this. <laughs> Maybe my new video will help new players decide what race they want to play. Or if you're just looking for a new race to play, maybe this will help you Fantasia into something new. And what I'm trying to say is, guys, is to turn into a Viera because they're the master race, of course. With that said, let's go ahead and go into the races, starting with Hewers. He Hewers? I hope I'm saying that right. Ah, uh, Hewers. Uh, what many like to say is the most basic, boring, the uh, white people food of races in the game. Many, for some ungodly reason, love to hate on hewers because they're just the default human race. They don't have any cute light -like cat features. No fur, no tail, no nothing. They're just kind of average, and I think that's okay. The tallest that midlanders can be is around 71.6 inches, which may not be so tall to most people in our eyes in our world, but that's taller than most LSM players who try to compensate with their height. Here is the Kogon hot take. I think they're perfectly fine, and I think they're kind of cool sometimes. If you want to go big boy, then go Highlander, also known as Thighlanders because of how Beautiful those thighs are, oh my gosh. And if you don't want to play those big boys, well guess what? There's an option that uh, many would consider kinda mid. <laughs> uh, anyways, Midlanders are honestly one of my favorite races out there. In fact, they were my first ever race when I started playing this game. I thought I had a pretty handsome and unique one until I met my in-game father. Damn you, Marcel! For me, I kind of like the idea of hewers. They just really fit the bill of being a normal in-game character in this world of this whole fantasy, crazy, magical stuff. I wasn't too into the idea of playing a big male aura character or a short king cat boy. And pfft. Man, are they short. I, for one, am a fan of the hearers, and I say they're not boring at all. In fact, great option in this game. So, to all hearers in-game, know that you are beautiful and loved by me, at least. And if you're a hearer in-game, uh, hit me up, because, you know, why not? You know what? In fact, if you're a hearer IRL, uh, hit me up, uh, please? Auras! Okay, female auras are the love of my life. I absolutely love the female auras so much. They're adorable. They're... They're beautiful. I am literally down bad for them. I'm a simp, guys. I I'm a simp for them. I just, that's it. Plain and simple. If I see one in my party, that's an automatic commendation for you. I don't care how you performed in the battle. I don't mind if you wiped our party 20 times over because in my mind, you've already wiped my heart and that's what matters. Yeah, that sounds a little bit weird. See her? Beautiful, I love her. We got the the Rayan and the Zayla? If you expect me to know how to say these names, I'm sorry, I'm just bad at them. Rayans are already cute in their own rights, but I mean, Zaylas though? Something about that blue horn ear thingy that they got going on just makes me go, Ooh. Pharaoh, the cracked scholar player, actually plays a Zayla Ara, and oh man, Woo. too bad he's always raiding and never has time for me. Sad. Now, male auras, on the other hand, uh, they're not bad. In fact, they can be kind of cool in a way. I just think they're a bit too edgy for my taste, if that makes any sense. While there is a variety of options you can choose them to make them look unique and cool, I just see a lot of ones go with the loud hair and black and red colors. Oh my god, wait, is that Shadow? Real talk though, I think they really fit the bill for a tanky kind of looking character or somebody that just has some badass energy to them, and I can give that some respect. However, I'm just saying, fellas, if you glam up your dude with some cute colors, the ladies will dig that look. Trust me. 
Actually, I don't know if they'll dig that look. I'm a guy, so... Uh. Okay, okay. One last thing I will say about the male R's before we move on to the next section. Why are they running like this? Why are they running like they're a Crash Bandicoot looking ass? Like, what? This is something so funny about seeing somebody look so badass, and then they just suddenly run like they're Crash Bandicoot. Yoshi P or anybody from the team are you watching this, if you could just maybe adjust the run, that'd be a bit cooler. So, if you're a female Aura player, just know that I am a big simp for you and I will get down and kiss your feet. Uh, not that I'm into feet, but you know, I, th I think if, if you wanted me to, I would kiss it just because you told me to. I, I wouldn't do it personally because I- Prof Gars. Okay guys. I'm gonna be real with you here. I've never seen a bad Hrothgar player in my life. They're always cracked. Whenever I get a random one in my roulettes, they're just, they're good. They're always on their shit. If they're tanking, they tank the shit out of things. If they're healing, they heal the shit out of things. If they're DPS, they, they go in there and like toss salads around and stuff. I, I think I'm using that term right. I'm not into big furry dudes, but you know. <laughs> Just know if I was, then, you know, and, <laughs> yo, I, I gotta end this bit here, I can't, I can't. Gerald Hart, one of my best buddies out there, is a well-known Hrothgar player. Not only that, but he's a pretty top-notch raider. Gerald's got one of the hottest Hrothgars out there, and you guys know, I'm not into big furry guys, but, but you know, <laughs> you, if you know, you know, <laughs> I, I gotta end this bit here, I, I, I swear. Oh, a quick note I have for Yoshi P. I'm still out here waiting for female Hrothgars, so don't you think I forgot. And if you don't release female Hrothgar soon, Yoshi P, I swear, I'm gonna just sit here and wait patiently. I can do other things in the meantime. Don't worry about it. I can be patient. I don't know what's going on at the HQ of Square Enix, but just know I have faith and I will wait. But I just know female Hrothgars, when they're released, ooh, oh boy. A race that deserves way more love that it doesn't get, unfortunately, Rogadin. By the way, Rogadin, not Rogadin. Gaiden? I mean, unless you swing that way, but make sure you get their name right or else they're gonna upset them and they're gonna crush you with their thighs, killing you, and... Ooh, actually, on second thought, male Rogadins are big, beefy men. Now, if you thought being a Highlander was big and beefy, no, nah, these guys are big and beefy-er. I got nothing to say other than the fact that these dudes are 100% big boys, and you know what they're great for? You know, besides calling them over to help you move furniture, but they are great for role-playing the dream job of big, burly men. Being a chef! Someone's gotta carry the heavy loads in the kitchen, and great chefs are what Rogadins shine at the best. Sadly, my twink ass doesn't fit their image, so I don't really play them. But something I like to play with, though, if you catch my drift, is the female Rogadins. Okay, I'm, I'm lying here. I'd rather be played with by them. Oh my god. I want them to throw me across the room and just break my shit. I want to be destroyed. Merle Webb is one of my favorite NPCs. I just want her to shoot me with her pistols crush me with her big arm, and I will thank her. Uh, guys, I'm not here for a long life, just here for a good one. Why don't people love Elizans as much as I do? They're beautiful, tall, long-necked people. I just, I, I love giraffes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Most reside in the coolest place in the game, Ishgard, and <laughs> Ishgard, cool. You see what I did there? Yeah. Anyways, all Elzins, male, female, they look regal, they look so cool, and you know, I dig that shit. Whenever I think of elegance, I think of Elizans, and you know, the words kind of sound similar too. Like, I don't know what it is, they just give off fancy ass vibes, and I dig that. So, stop with hating on Elizans, I love them, and if you're a tall, strong woman, hit me up, I'm free. Make way for the master race of this game. Hands down, I think out of all the races that I like the most, I love Vieras, both male and female. I know, I always place cat girls against aura girls to see who's better, to see who's better at second place. First place is always secured by female Vieras, I'm telling you right now. You know, just Tall women? Hot. Simple as that. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the Rava kind of Vieras, you know, tall, tan, strong anime women. You know, I just love them for the plot. The tallest stand about 75.3 inches, which is about 74.3 inches more than a certain place on my body, but... Their hair options are all so luscious, so beautiful, and honestly, they can make any hairstyle work. Even bald. You know, I, I can dig a bald girl. Yeah, let's do it. And the male characters, while also cool looking in my opinion, they always do come up shorter than the females. To that I say... Good. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is kind of hot. I stand tall women, and I pray to Yoshi P every day for making the size difference happen. You know, just like Martin Luther King said, 
Tall women? Beautiful. There's like some consensus out there that's saying, you know, only bottom people play male Vieras. And my response to that? Yeah, and? Like, pfft, are, are you kidding me? I'll be down to play male Vieira every day of the week, then bottoms unite! There is nothing wrong with that. All right, we have two flavors of potatoes to choose from. Plain folks and dune folks. You know what? Never let me say two flavors of Lollafels ever again. That just sounds kind of weird. Plain folks. Well, they're pretty much your average run-of-the-mill normal Lollafels. But dune folks are literally out of the depths of hell. Look at their soulless eyes, ready to eat the kneecaps of all those who go against them. Evil incarnate. Hey, by the way, there's a secret cheat with Lollafels. Because of how small they are, you're actually able to kind of dodge mechanics much more easily. Uh, totally confirmed by the way, don't look into this. If you're struggling to clear hard content, it's because you're not a bad player. You're just not a Lollafell. But if you are struggling, and you are a Lollafell, um, skill difference? In the past, in my old content, I've always made fun of Lollafells, but that's just a joke. I really find them kind of cute and adorable. And for God's sake, if you're gonna play a female Lollafell, always go type 1 voice. Not only does it buff your character in-game, it doesn't, but you'll also have a voice that everyone will just love and set their volumes down to zero so they can hear it all the time. Type 1 voice or uninstall, there is no between. Also, pet the Lollafells, it's like a drug for them for some reason. As you know, as you know, I do love the cat girls, but as I've always said, they're always favored over by the Aura girls and, and the Vieira girls and, and the taller girls. But deep down, Far away, if I really had to think about it, I do love the cat girls sometimes. They're naturally cute, they have the cutest poses, emotes, the little jump they do when they jump around. They're really the best race for third place. But they're a great third place, you know? Nothing wrong with bronze. And while they're not superior than the bunny women, they're still above others on my list of favorites. I do feel bad because I am a huge, huge simp for Yashtola, but at the end of the day, I just really enjoy Lena a lot more. I'm sorry, baby. Please forgive me. Ah, oh, and as for my cat boys, uh, you guys are alright. They're just nice. Yeah. I like Graha. He's a great... yeah? Okay, real talk, Catboys can be cool. I don't mind them either. But I will say, I think Bunny Boys make for better twinks and bottoms, so, uh, we got you beat there. What?! Did you think I was just gonna shit talk every race in this video? <laughs> no. That's for another video. Everyone loves each race for a certain reason. I did state my gripes about some, but I do it in a jokingly poking kind of fun way. You know, the way you and your friends would get together and roast people, each other, and, and etc. I love all the races in 14, and you know what? It takes all kind of people to make the world. There's not one that I hate. Pick a race that best speaks to you. And of course, if you don't like that race, you can always Fanta out of it. That's an option. So if you enjoy being a small little Lollafell, Go for that. Or how about being able to reach the highest fruits in a tree? Well, I got news for you. That's a giraffe. Pick whatever you want in 14 that speaks to you. There is no wrong choice at all. And by that, I mean pick Viera, the master race, clearly. <laughs>